Hey everyone, welcome back to Sekiro, where I just realized I left you guys on a shitty cliffhanger and I didn't upload for like over a week. Um, that was kind of, yeah, I feel bad about that. There are reasons though, um, it's just been a lot going on, uh, you know, summer has been kicking into high gear, my swimming trunks are right there, um, but that's besides the point. Really, we are doing some major renovations on our house and it's just been a lot of work, you know, like going to the store, picking up materials, coming back, doing this, doing that, running, like, how do you get there? How do you get there? Um, okay, that's going to bother me now. I can't figure it out, but you know, it's just been like that. Uh, I've been like, cause it's not me doing the work, uh, me and construction are not like me and manual labor are not, you know, best friends, which is an understatement. It's basically been like family. We have some family who work in like construction and interior decorating and all that. But yeah, um, I've been running kind of support for them and, and you know, just not that it's a tough time, uh, this guy's tough, uh, that's not a tough time, but this is, but it's just been kind of like busy, you know, plus, you know, we are living kind of, because we're doing our kitchen, so we're kind of living out of you know, like, paper plates and shit, and off of McDonald's and all that, but it's all good, all cool, it's just been, oh yeah, this guy attacks when he, He's, he has such a, like, massive cock spear that he fucking, like, you can't even Mikiri him. And he's dead. That was actually very smooth. Um, bro, what the hell is up with his? Do you see his face? Does he have a mask on, or is this like face jacked? Oh, he has a mask on. Okay, that's how you get up there. Um, so yeah, I don't think I could eat another pizza or Burger King or McDonald's for like the next like three months. But that's just how it's been. It's just, I knew it was uh, coming up uh, when, you know, I left out or left the cliffhanger at the previous episode. It just, I didn't, just didn't think it was going to get so crazy. But, you know, it's how it is. People who have ever done anything around their house know that you always have a plan, pretty much, of how it's going to go. And it almost never goes like that. So... That's been my life, but now we're back with Sekiro. How's everybody doing? This is not a live stream, so pointless to ask that question, but it's chill. The other thing I was going to say is that I'm off work all next week, so there are going to be a lot of videos. So I'm going to make up for all the time missed. I know you've been sitting all night just crying you know shedding tears wondering where mr sketchhead is well i'm back boy slash girl these guys are just too satisfying to backstab potato looking motherfuckers what does it drop upgrade materials which i don't remember Of course, this is a little secret entrance. Of course, locked. I'm sure there's gonna be like no final boss here. Um, definitely does not look like a final boss arena. Whoops. Am I dead? 
Okay. Man, was I scared for a little bit there. I was like, what the shit? So what we're gonna do here is I am going to use the prayer beads. Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, technically, unless you're going for a challenge run or something, you always want to use these. Okay, and we're back with Ashina Castle, which means I should rest at this bonfire. And, you know, I just call them bonfires. Like, let's not get into the semantics here. Uh, it's very difficult to get or to remain stealth. Stealth? In this section. At least, I always have trouble remaining hidden. Which is bad because there's a lot of enemies here. I'm just trying to see whether there's like some different approach here, but... It honestly... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Speedrun strats. We got speedrun strats. These are not speedrun strats, but... I call everything speedrun strats. And they start throwing out a very annoying enemy. Uh, these, like, owl boys. I don't know what to call them. Yeah, but usually they already noticed me by the time. So this is like a good... This is... We discovered something new today. Because these fools actually have ranged attacks. I think I got noticed. Um, the reason I'm coming down here is there's a very important NPC here. Sucks for you. Sucks for you. Yeah, there's a very important NPC here. A merchant. Who we have to rescue. I don't think this guy fits into the equation, but still, he needs to pass away, which he did. He's somewhere over here. Ouch, sucks for you. Oh, there's way more of you than I remember. What the hell? Godlike timing. Okay, godlike me getting killed. Hey, you wanted to see combat? Here's me getting fucked up. Well, we only technically got fucked up towards the end. We have all the healing items in the world, so it's all chill. Again, there's way more of these guys here than I remember. All we gotta do now is find the boy. That's always the problematic part. This area is very maze-like. Think he's down there. Okay, we're gonna cut to when I find him. There he is. Okay, so I wasn't very far. Just went the other way. I kind of missed him. Stating the obvious right there. Samurai 
So it gives you a note and smoke signal used by Ashino Shinobi, the Grey Knight Charles, our boys. Well, we kind of know what's up there. Oh, this is the information guy. This is not the normal merchant. Fuck. This is the lame one. Oh, whatever. Gives you hints, but he doesn't know that Google exists. How would he, you know? So anyways, yeah, the thing is that if you follow the smoke signals, you don't have to go through the the boss. Because there's like one of these general guys down there. Um, that's about it. This is a shitty section because there's one looking right at you and he's always facing you. Wrong bitch. See, he noticed you killing his friend. And now he's gonna start. He has that infinite ammo hack. Whatever, let's just go and kill him. Okay, cool. So this is, like I said, going very well so far. No complaints. No complaints. Let me check if I'm recording. I am recording audio. Wonderful. Here we have my favorite enemy in the entire game. This fool. Fucking dive bombs you. Wait, isn't he supposed to explode? Yeah, he does. He does explode. I wonder if this works against him. No, it doesn't. He knows the way of the shinobi firecracker. And he knows the way of the damage. Did I just kill him with a shuriken? Bruh. What the hell? That doesn't happen very often. It doesn't. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's mad difficult to stay stealthy here uh, in this section. I'm gonna try. Whoops. Okay, I'm just chucking shurikens. I don't know if that's gonna like help the situation. Don't go right on top of the fucking. Oh shit! We we are we are in trouble. We are in trouble, to say the least. What the fuck? Don't even worry about it. I don't know what the hell just fell down that roof there, but... It's chill. We're just retreating. There's no... There's no problems. No need to get our pants in a twist. Panties. To be honest, it might actually be better that these guys are all like fucked up now in terms of their positioning. They're all going back to where they were. Yeah, obviously, this is where I meant to land. This sucks. There's one right there. These guys do know how to cover their bases. Let's use the Gaijin Sugar. It's my favorite. It makes you super stealthy. Why can't you grab that ledge? God dang it, as they say on PG YouTube world. 
Ha! You got Gaijin. Didn't see nothing. None of you saw anything. These guys are sus. And... Oh, fuck off. You know what? I know where to go, bitch. Helps, you know. It helps. That's a really annoying section, honestly. But here we have the checkpoint. That's all that matters. Progression. Let's have a look at some skills here. Spirit emblem. Should we get the slide into the DMs? I think we should. Vault over. Inhibit noise. Recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow. Ah. Eh. I'll I'll hold my I'll hold my points. Just making a quick stop here to use my gourd seed that I just picked up. There's gonna be a lot of dialogue here. Oh yeah, she Wait, which one? Oh yeah, yeah, when we saw their little ghosts. So yeah, we gotta go to Ashina, which I think we already knew. Uh we can we can get her drunk as well. I'm gonna wait until she's with Kuro. She's gonna be like the wasted aunt. Um uh, yeah. Alright, what does he have? I don't think I have a new prestige. Yeah, no, I have everything. We can upgrade to the spinning shuriken, which I am 100% doing. That shit is very good. Cool. Let's not get him drunk again. Let's just go back. Before we stop, this guy is here as well now. So I think he, yeah, he, do, he is the general merchant. That's very good because he actually sells a lot of good stuff uh, fairly cheap. Including a gourd seed, which I could. I mean, just sell him all the cash. That might have been stupid, actually, now that I think about it. I have one of these already. Uh, Sabimaru, we know about that. Fuck it. There's no need to hold on to your cash. And let's just quickly turn that in. All right, Ashina Castle. There are new enemies here, and they are pretty tough. They are some tough cookies, unless you go what for the backstab. He's got like classic samurais. They're not like the little foot soldiers, you know. This section is kind of a motherfucker too. There are a couple of sections that I doubt are possible to stealth fully. And this is one of those sections. Hold on. I thought it was coming over here. Alright, never mind. First of all, there's the old lady. Uh... 
She's a bitch because if she notices you and rings her little pots and pans and everything, uh, it alerts everybody else. And these guys, again, you do not want to fight a lot of them head on. Luckily, they do suffer from vision problems. Oh shit. Let's do honorable samurai battle now. These guys love the fucking... Oh shit, they have armor too. That does a lot of damage. Whoops. Told you these guys are tough. I'm gonna do a rest. Okay, maybe it's good to learn with these, this guy, how exactly they function. I mean, they, I should know, because I've... Fuck, the fucking... God damn it. He just straight up killed me. I, I, I just straight up got, died to this one guy right here. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That wasn't the best, to say the least. This is the way to go. Sneak under this window right here. Kill this guy. I think this might be it. Watch out for the old woman. Where she turns around. Trying not to knock the lights over. Hey, this might be it. I might have figured it out. There are stonks and there are tactics. This is tactics. How the fuck, boy? Bruh. Go for it. See, all I needed was one. Can't do a stab. I dare you, motherfucker. Okay, he I dared him and he did it. Man, this is not economical, you know, spending this much resources on a single one of these guys. And then there are two of them here, which is even worse. Okay, we're gonna... Boom! Boom! 
They're weak to the Ichimanji. I mean, not Ichimanji. I think that is the Ichimanji. Or Mikiri counter, that's what it is. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of something here. So if my Sekiro terminology is not like 100% up to scratch. These guys are cool though. At least they mix things up. I like a Neo. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I'm playing Neo too, but you know, it's a lot better. Um, the game still has issues with things like such as enemy variety. You just can't seem to come up with like varied enemies. But the combat is more varied. It's just the enemies, but it still feel like with Neo 2. You know, it boils down to the same issue in that there is like one. You find the one really strong tactic and then like that's it. Use a pellet, use a gourd. I thought I was gonna... What the fuck? Fucking stop. It's time to stop. God. <laughs> oh no. This is really bad. There's like fucking three of them right here. Tactical retreat. God damn it. I forgot that you aggro the other two. It's really shitty. That's really shitty. The only saving grace here really is that the enemies in this game are weak to um, stealth game AI, so that doesn't change ever. Listen, I'm gonna try, this is gonna be Galaxy Brain. Um, what if I throw a ceramic shard? Oh, come on, seriously? Yes. At least it didn't aggro the other two. God, these guys have a fucked up moveset. Oh, it's so, it's so fast. It's so fast. Annoying. These guys are annoying. Uh, time to do this whole section again. And that's like the real shit. Like, getting back here is not that difficult, but this section right here, damn. Nice. Okay, that at least won't attract. The other boys. Oh, fuck, it's so fast. Oh. I swear I'm not like fucking this up on purpose. And he just keeps going. Oh, fuck this 
guy. Seriously. He has like different timings than the... <clears throat> I hate this enemy. Why can't I get the Mikiri? There we go. Eat shit, bitch. This enemy sucks. Uh, that only took all my healing gourds. And there's like two more of these fuckers here too. There's the remnant. Okay, we'll listen to the remnant in the next episode, I think. Because man, was that tough. We just need a rest here. Yeah, these guys are kind of insane. Uh, this is like the only section you fight them too. And they're like a definite step up from like the little minions you fight up until this point. Anyways, I think we can call that a fairly successful Sekiro episode progression wise. Sorry again for the absence. Really, it's just, you know, life, life is life. Um, but again, with me being off work, uh, videos are going to be crazy the next week. I have quite a lot planned. So, as always, if you did enjoy my return, which I hope you did, and the return of Sekiro, make sure to give this video a like. Uh, comment as always, subscribe as always. If you're new here, turn on post notifications. Doing my l usual little speech. It feels good to be back, yeah, because I've been missing this game. We'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.